What's up, everybody? For the Winnetachi here, you know what it is. Thank you very much for tuning into youtube.com slash for the Winnetachi, where today we're here with the Ultimate Crossbar Challenge. You might have come across that title before, but this is the actual Ultimate Crossbar Challenge. Hell, you can even call it the Super Ultimate Challenge or the Super Extreme Ultimate Challenge. But we're here today with an Ultimate Crossbar Challenge, where today we're going to be having five crossbar challenges in one video so without further ado let's go ahead and explain the rules like i said earlier within this video there's going to be five different crossbar challenges or crossbar events within this video number one right where the ball is right now outside the 18 yard box one shot one opportunity hit that crossbar attempt number two same exact thing instead of 18 yards out i will be bringing it back behind you guys to 30 yards out attempt number three Anywhere before the 18 yard box where it currently is right now, I get to take one touch, quick ping, hit the crossbar. That is attempt number three completed. Attempt number four, we're going to go ahead and juggle 10 times, get a quick little side volley, get a quick little volley in, little ping, hit the crossbar. That is attempt number four completed. And last but not least, attempt number five, the most difficult of all. Hell, I might not even complete it today. We might have to do it another day. We're going to go ahead and hit the crossbar exactly where it is right now, 18 yard box receive juggle 10 and then i gotta hit the crossbar again so without further ado let's get into attempt number one right away oh, I hate when you can do one time attempts you know the video is going to be freaking claps claps fam crossbar challenge number two we're now 30 yards out compared to what we just did on our first challenge, which was 18 yards out. Exact same deal, one touch, one strike, gotta hit the crossbar. Just like we did on the first challenge, just go ahead and see if we can complete this in one go. Ooh, too clean, fam, I'm too clean today, I'm too clean. Crossbar challenge number three, as you guys just saw, challenges one at 18 yards and challenge two at 30 yards. With one touch, we're completed flawlessly no mistakes whatsoever both completed in one attempt now we're getting a little bit more difficult here so i'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do that anymore but without further ado let's get into attempt our challenge number three where we get two touches before the 18 yard box so a separation touch second touch has to be the paint so let's get to it Let's get on to a challenge number four. Crossbar challenge number four. With number three taking us a couple of attempts, we're gonna be now getting into crossbar challenge number four. Number four and five, we're gonna take multiple attempts. Hopefully we can do it in one go. That would be absolutely crazy. But let's go ahead and see what we can pull off here. All I gotta do, stay outside of the penalty box, stay outside the 18 yard line, juggle 10, side volley or ping, hit the crossbar. So let's get to it. probably had to be simple with my lift. That took way too many attempts. All I had to do was just skip lift, juggle 10, and paint. I was trying to be fancy with my, my tricks and stuff, my lifts, be super cool. But no, just get it up, relax, paint, and it's easy mode. However, I do gotta go now, but we will be completing challenge number five next time I am here, which will probably be tomorrow. So catch you guys then. What's up everybody for the Winnetachi here, you know what it is. Thank you all very much for tuning in. We are here at a different park, a different location for crossbar challenge of this episode number five. And again, all I have to do, be outside the 18 yard box. I'm probably gonna be a little bit further because there is no box markings on this field, sadly. 
So I'm gonna be a little bit further just for precaution reasons. And also I just gotta hit the crossbar, receive it in the air before it hits the floor, juggle 10, and then hit the crossbar again before anything reaches the floor. So without further ado, let's get to it. take you guys back over there to get out of this wind so I can go ahead and outro this video with you guys. Oh no! How pissed I am right now. Alrighty everybody, so after roughly 50 attempts on challenge number 5, yes, 50. I probably didn't do the full 50 because I was counting it in my head down uh, from when I started so I might have missed a couple. So it was roughly about 45 to 50 attempts at least on challenge number 5. We were close on a couple of them but overall I probably hit the crossbar over half of the amount of times that I was supposed to. Um, it, it was crazy how difficult that is. The difficult part is, hit, of course, hitting the crossbar, but you have to hit it so perfect that it comes back with some pace. Most of the time, as you can tell, it was not coming back far enough, so I had to go ahead and run and get to the ball and bring it back while I was juggling to then go ahead and hit the crossbar. But sadly, we were not able to complete it within this video. So that's why I'm going to be throwing attempt number five or challenge number five in the bin. We were at least able to complete four of the five challenges in this video. Uh, go ahead and try it yourself. Uh, let me know what challenges you were able to complete. If you were able to do number five, I better see video footage of that because I would be super hyped if someone can actually do it. I'm not done though. I'm not done here. I'm not giving up. And if you guys can't do it, I don't say you give up either because that is doable for me as you guys can tell. I had a couple of attempts that were very, very close. So I'm going to be giving it another go. If you guys want to see it in another video in the future, post down below. Just want to give you guys a heads up. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, we do upload every first Sunday of every single month. So stay tuned for some more uploads. I do have more plans for the future. I have a lot of goals that I want to accomplish before I can do it. Um, sadly, I don't have too much personal time for me to go ahead and do these videos that I want to do. But if we can continue to grow this channel, if we can continue to get support, grow in subscribers, grow in views, that will allow me to foresee the future being positive a little bit more and me being able to get out and do some more stuff. And I want to do some public videos as well in the future. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Love you all. Have a great day.